I am Dr. Sarika Panwar. Today we will discuss Shannon Fano code, which is also a variable length code in information theory. We have already discussed the Huffman code, which is a variable length code having a free prefix coding. So Shannon Fano code is also a variable length coding technique and it is also a prefix code. While solving the problem of Shannon Fano, we have to go with some predefined steps that is one fixed algorithm. We know that in variable length coding, we assign the code word to the symbols which we transmit on the communication channel. So now in this example, we will consider this five symbols having the probabilities 0 0.4, 0 0.19, 0 0.16, 0 0.15 and 0 0.15. Already these probabilities are arranged in the decreasing order. The symbol having larger probability, more probability should be assigned with small code word and the symbol having less probability of occurrence should be assigned a code word having large length. So now we will see how to go with this Shannon Fano coding technique. Now we can see that these probabilities are already arranged in decreasing order. In first step we have to make the grouping of these symbols and that grouping we will do based on the addition of these probabilities okay so now we have to partition these symbols in two group in first step we have to partition these symbols in two groups and the addition of the probabilities of those two groups should be approximately same or exactly same okay so now we will try to form the groups we will first uh, add these two probabilities addition of these two probability it is 0.4 and it is 0.19 so it will be 0.59 okay so addition of these two probability will be 0 0.59 and if we add these three probabilities then <coughs> then the <coughs> addition of this will be 0 0.46 so if we subtract if we try to find the difference of these two then we will get 0 0.13 answer okay so uh, that is the first partition we will try okay so in partition in this partition we will call this as a partition in this partition we will group these x1 and x2 symbols and x3 x4 and x5 symbols will be there in the other group okay now if we try some other combination if we try to keep this alone x1 in first group and all these probabilities in second group then the difference will be this is 0 0.4 and uh, here it will be 0 0.3 plus 0 0.16 plus 0 0.19 so it will be 9 plus uh, 15, 16, 17. So it will be 0.65. So 0 0.65 minus 0 0.4. This will be 0 0.20. And that will be this, this difference will be higher than this difference. So we are going in correct direction. So we can group these probabilities. When we uh, uh, group these two probability, then we will assign zeros to both of these symbols why because these are these two symbols are there in one group and we will assign one to these uh, three symbols because all these three probabilities are there in the second group okay now in second step we have to further partition these two symbols we have to further partition these two symbols x1 and x2 now there is only one option of partitioning since there are only two symbols here so we will partition this as follows we will keep this x1 in first group and that we will assign 0 and we will keep this x2 in second group and that we will assign to 
1 and now we have to stop here why because now in this case there are no more symbols to partition so we will stop here so now we have to think about this second group okay now in this second group again we have to uh, partition so uh, now see here it is 0 0.16 and addition of these two is 0 0.3 so the difference will be 0 0.14 so we can partition these two because if we keep these two in one group so the addition will be 0 0.31 0 0.31 and it uh, if we keep this alone so 0 0.15 so the difference will be higher so we can go with this partitioning so keep x3 in one group and x4 and x5 in other group so we can partition here so we will keep this uh, uh, x3 in one group so assign 0 here and these two x x4 and x5 in one group so assign 1 here okay and now here there are uh, there is only one uh, symbol in this group that's why we will uh, stop here huh. now in this group there are two symbols remaining x4 and x5 so there is only one option we will keep this uh, we will partition here so assign x4 as 0 and x5 as 1 0 and 1 okay and then we will stop here okay now uh, we will assign the code word to symbol x1 so it is 0 0 code word for x1 is this 0 and this 0 then code word for x2 is 0 1 code word for x3 is 1 0 this 1 and this 0 and code word for x4 it is 1 1 0 and code word for x5 it is 1 1 1 so now what we can observe that the symbol having the lowest probability are assigned with the longer code word and the code words which are having the higher probabilities are assigned with the shorter code word now next step is to find the average code word length that is l we know that what is the uh, what is the formula of average code word length it is summation from k is equal to 1 to a 5 because there are 5 symbols probabilities of occurrence of those symbols into the length of length of kth code word code word okay so now uh, probability of occurrence of x1 symbol it is 0 0.4 into code word length is 2 plus probability of occurrence of this symbol x2 is 0 0.19 into code word length is again 2 plus probability of occurrence of x3 is 0 0.16 into code word length is 2 again plus probability of occurrence of x4 it is 0 0.15 into code word length is 3 plus probability of occurrence of x5 it is 0 0.15 into code word length is 3 okay so if we solve this we will get the average code word length that is 2.4 bits okay average code word length is 2.4 bits next parameter which we calculate is the average information per message that is nothing but the entropy what is the formula of entropy h is summation from k is equal to 1 to 5 why because there are five symbols here probability of occurrence of that particular symbol into log to the base 2 1 over probability of occurrence of that symbol so if we solve this we know that probability of first symbol symbol is 0 0.4 into log to the base 2 1 over 0 0.4 plus 0 0.19 log to the base 2 
वन ओवर जीरो पॉइंट वन नाइन प्लस जीरो पॉइंट वन सिक्स लॉक टू द बेस टू वन ओवर जीरो पॉइंट वन सिक्स प्लस जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव लॉक टू द बेस टू वन ओवर जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव प्लस जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव लॉक टू द बेस टू वन ओवर जीरो पॉइंट वन फाइव सो इफ वी सॉल्व दिस यू विल गिव एंसर एच दैट इज एवरेज इंफॉर्मेशन पर मैसेज विच इज नथिंग बट अवर एंट्रोपी इट इज टू पॉइंट टू सेवन बेट्स पर मैसेज दैट बिकॉज वी आर फाइंडिंग द एवरेज वाई बिकॉज इट इज अ वेरिएबल लेंथ कोडिंग सो एवरेज इंफॉर्मेशन पर मैसेज दैट इज एंट्रोपी इट इज टू पॉइंट टू सेवन बिट्स पर मैसेज इफिशियंसी ऑफ दिस कोडिंग टेक्निक दैट इज एच डिवाइडेड बाय कैपिटल एल वी नो एच इज टू पॉइंट टू सेवन बिट्स पर मैसेज डिवाइडेड बाय एवरेज लेंथ ऑफ द कोड वर्ड दैट इज टू पॉइंट फोर बिट्स सो दिस इज बिट्स पर मैसेज एंड दिस इज 2.4 पॉइंट फोर बिट्स इफिशियंसी इज जीरो पॉइंट नाइन फोर सो इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई इट विथ हंड्रेड सो इट विल इट विल बी नाइंटी फोर परसेंट सो वॉट वी कैन डू सेम प्रॉब्लम वी कैन सॉल्व विद द हफमन कोड एंड वी कैन कंपेयर द इफिशियंसी सो दैट वी विल कम टू नो विच कोडिंग टेक्निक इज बेटर फॉर पर्टिक्युलर डिस्क्रिट मेमोरीलेस सोर्स थैंक यू